So the next topic is Menkes Kinky Hair Syndrome, which is an inherited disorder related to copper metabolism. It is also called as trichopolio dystrophy, which is the alternative name for this condition. Inheritance-wise, it shows X-linked recessive inheritance, so it is significantly more common in males. And the gene mutated here is ATP7A gene mutation. What is the abnormality seen in these individuals? In these patients, the intestinal absorption of the copper is normal to increased, but its transport across the intestine into blood as well as tissues is faulty because this is the site where this uh, specific carrier protein is involved and because of abnormalities of this, this ATPase dependent protein, you have Menkes Kinky Hair Syndrome developing. There will be severely low levels of copper levels in the body, low seroluplasmin levels despite the absorption being more than adequate and that is why oral copper supplementation is not of much use in these patients. You need to give parenteral copper supplementation as we shall see. So, if we look at the clinical features, first of all, let us, uh, the, the hallmark of these patients is abnormal hair and that is why the name is uh, Menkes Kinky Hair Syndrome. If you look at the hair of these children, you, this is the one of the common patterns that you will find that in the first year of life, you will have hair which are very thin, which are sparse, right? They are not very dense. Some of them may show hypopigmentation. They will be brittle and easily pluckable. Such kind of a pattern along with neurological problems is the typical manifestation you find in Menkes Kinky Hair Syndrome. Let us try to enumerate what are the things, what are the abnormalities that you find. First of all, if you look at the neonatal period, neonates will have CNS abnormalities. Remember that CNS abnormalities in neonatal period will appear before hair abnormalities come to attention. So you will have hypotonia in the patient you will have newborns having hypothermia. There will be chances of neonatal seizures and there will be poor feeding. Poor feeding will gradually lead to failure to thrive in these individuals. Secondly, you will find that there are hair abnormalities. In the first two weeks of life, you will only find thin sparse hair. Right? Later on, you will find that there are specific microscopic abnormalities which appear in these individuals. All these microscopic abnormalities will be characterized by thin brittle hair. But the microscopic pattern for this will be dif different in all the three entities. So you will have three microscopic abnormalities that you will find. First abnormality is called as Trichorexis nodosa. Second is called as pili torti. And the third abnormality is monilethrix. More about this I will be coming to in some time. Then other than hair abnormalities you will find that these children have mental retardation and delayed milestones and some of these individuals will also have skin hypopigmentation but it is not a very consistent feature. So these are the features of Menkes Kinky Hair Syndrome. So if we do, uh, if we do hair biopsy, if you do look at the hair uh, biopsy or if you try to look through trichoscope that is trichoscopy you will find specific abnormalities being seen in these individuals. So what are the abnormalities you will find? First of all, as I just said, there will be trichorexis nodosa. In trichorexis nodosa, let me show you a picture. This is how the hair will look like. This is a hair and there will be microscopic fractures in the hair with the two microscopic fragments having a fuzzy brush border. And they, these brush border will be interlocking with each other. Nodosa word means nodes. If you look at low magnification or even by naked eye, you will find that there will be grey white nodes on the hair. 
grey white nodes will be present on the hair shaft and this is the site where these hairs will fracture. On microscopy you will find that there will be brush like micro fractures in areas of these nodes. That pattern is called as trichorexis nodosa. The second pattern is pili torti. The name itself is saying the hair are thin and they are abnormally twisted upon their axis. That is called as pili torti. And the third pattern is monilethrix. What will you find in monilethrix pattern? This type of a pattern can be seen. Beaded appearance of the hair on microscopy is called as monilethrix. So, this can be asked as a potential visual. This can be asked as a potential visual along with the clinical image which I showed and they can ask you, uh, it is related to which syndrome? The answer will be Menke's kinky hair syndrome. When you do investigation, you will find that on investigation, the ceruloplasmin levels as well as the total copper levels, serum copper levels are found to be very low. Hypocupremia is seen in these individuals. And for therapy, for treatment, you need to give copper histidine complexes parenterally. There is no role of oral supplementation of copper in these individuals because whatever you give it will not be absorbed. And copper histidine complexes, uh, please remember that copper histidine complexes must be started within first two months of age. If you give them within first two months, the neurological abnormalities uh, have been shown to improve. Otherwise, uh, the patient's uh, uh, fatality rate may improve but the neurological dysfunction may become permanent. So this is called as Menke's kinky hair syndrome. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Preplada.